Hello everyone, Hiromi here, and this is the tier 10 German battleship Rhode Island. Wait, this is not German. Hold on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> this is the tier 10 American battleship Rhode Island. <laughs> I gotta love those glitches. And I have not played a ship, and I have not seen any videos. So this is gonna be something very interesting and also because it is American ship I do not like American arcs I really hate it so I'm gonna put myself to a challenge once we get through all the stats and all that so forth so let's go ahead and start out with the stats so we got 51,909 HP Citadel protection fire flood fire flood is typical Citadel everything damage reduction torpedo damage reduction 15% uh, for those two and the damage reduction at 12 so it's not so much in terms of their um, protection besides the um, all the Japanese American ships this is like the aftermath of World War II alright <laughs> so the comparison between Montana and Rhode Island in terms of protection yeah the damage reduction I feel like it's not gonna be squishy however the speed though it's definitely on the good side. Uh, let's see. We're going to go through all through this. 356 millimeters. I heard a lot of players say that Rhode Island is Florida like. Okay, Mark 11 guns. And we got Rhode Island, pretty much Mark 11. So basically the same guns as a tier 7. So we're bringing a tier 7 gun to a tier 10 match, which is very. Very suspicious. Damage wise, seems very reasonable. Yeah, I mean it's still, it's a still 356 gun, so we'll have. I feel like it's gonna have trouble penning heavier battleships like Yamada, Grosser Curvers, um, so on and so forth. But it probably have a good chance to pen, say, Incomp. uh, cruisers, especially Puerto Rico, for so forth. And then some battle cruisers like St. Vincent, for example. But St. Vincent will definitely devastate me on this one. Secondary guns is your typical. This is just 127 millimeters, 10 by 2, so 10 on each side. Range is that. Everything's similar. Now, AA wise feels, if I remember, feels a little bit lackluster. Yeah, so we got that. And that so yeah the AA is pretty not good so far especially you look at Louisiana Vermont now does Rhode Island has air defense alert yes it does but it's just only level one <laughs> okay well AA is something but AA does nothing <laughs> Okay, we definitely have Radar 2, which is really nice, and it has Engine Accelerator 2, so... Okay, this kind of reminds me of the Tier 9 Battleship Georgia, if I recall. That one has Engine Accelerator 3, so this one is fast, 32.82, and then we got like... 32.09. Uh, Why is it 29? <laughs> but, alright. Concealment wise... Actually, 11.34 seems like a good number. Uh, ignore that word right there. So, Louisiana has a consumer build. So, I feel like if I am going to challenge myself to try to get 100k on World Island, I'm glad. Now, I want to put some challenges on my side so that I will enjoy my suffer of what the challenge I am gonna do. Now, alright, so let's go ahead and do with the setup. So what's the elite ship bonus? Okay, advanced gun director right off the bat. Why do you need fire and flood resistance? Alright, camouflage, the historic camo and the hot road. Okay. I did heard about the hot road on Discord that it is something I could reference but I can't say it because of non-disclosure agreement 
<laughs> it reminds me of a certain thing I know when I was a child. And it brings me some bit of nostalgia. If you know what I mean? You know. Now, I see that the Metroverse B for Historic Camel is plus 4%, and the Hot Road is, well, Torpedo Damage Reduction. So, it feels like if you want to tank for Torpedo Damage, you can go with the Hot Road, and the Historic Camouflage is good for dodging. So, let's start off with Hot Road, first of all, because, come on. This looks sick as F. <laughs> oh my god, this very reminds me of this company. <laughs> oh my god, this one actually emit- Oh yes, it does! It does emit the lights. Uh, it emits the flames from the hot road. Oh wow. Hold on, can I see it from here? Okay, so it's just only the front. What about the back? Okay, so there's no like, no heat emission on the back. It's just only on the front from the eagle. Okay, not bad. Um, battle honors play ten battles and a hundred. Well, there you go. Calls one hundred thousand HP and damage in one battle. If only I got the ten battles first of all. But yeah, there's no XP I ever gain on this one. All right, let's do the build. <laughs> All right, so I want to do a consumer build for a higher chance of me to get some shots because I am terrible with American arcs. So let's go ahead, get high grade coal, improve crew rations, and prevented a maintenance pack. Maybe refine diesel. That determines. Now, I would go artillery plotting room modification, which gives me four percent more range. But I feel like I might need a modification 3 because you aren't gonna pet anything with 356 in tier 10 matches. Alright, so we're gonna get propulsion modification and let's do a concealment right here. Uh, I feel like I wanna use propulsion modification too because this is a hot world after all. You know what? Let's go for it. <laughs> If this is gonna be hot rolled, it has to have the speed. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I want to do something funny. Okay, so for the first battle, we're gonna do something funny, and then afterwards, gonna do more serious stuff. So because this is hot rolled, I'm gonna do something that is a little bit forbidden. You could say I'm gonna do a speed build. Rhode Island with preheating. <laughs> yes, I am insane for this one. And I totally, totally did not drink something before I start recording this. <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. All right, so let's, let's figure out which commander works with this. Well, if we're gonna do hot rolled, we gotta go balls deep with Halsey, so <laughs> this is gonna be so bad, but preheating. <laughs> oh my god, I feel so wrong with this one. Um, Daredevil. <laughs> oh god, okay. Angry Bull, Honor Seeker, Adrenaline Rush. Um, uh, I really want the demo expert, but I'm doing the hot build, so... Engine overload right there. APCS fully repaired. Uh, oh my god. I... Okay, it's, it does have radar, engine accelerator, and air defense alert. I feel like air defense alert does absolutely nothing, so I'm just gonna go with Victorious Charge. And uh, just because I feel like I might have to use HE against. Battleships, I, ugh. journalists or export. We, I, I had to do this. I had to do journalists. I, it just feels so wrong with this build, but this is just for fun's sake. <laughs> All right, torpedo alert and underwater protection expert. So you can pause right here for the build, and let's go back. 
and assign this commander. <laughs> Ignore that, I put Minnesota in Halsey. Okay, um, alright, so this is the build right now, and I put myself a challenge right here, and the goal here is to get 100,000 damage in Rhode Island with just the basics right now. So consumables is just going to be like that. And we got the elite, yeah, not the elite gun operator, the advanced gun director. The speed build, Rhode Island with Halsey. And... <laughs> And if I did not get 100k, we're gonna go to the next level. Now, before I start the game, I am gonna put my brain to the test with a specific song that is known for brain rotting and it has the memes and it and let's just say this anime did not come out and somehow become a meme. If you know what that is, well, just, it's a one hour time lapse. It's just a one hour video of just listening that just three words. Shika no 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 kai stantan. Okay, well, let's, I'm just gonna go ahead, start the song. And if you guys are not a weeb, this video will be just been muffled with a different song that I'm just going to insert. So you guys won't listen. But if you like to enjoy the suffering, there will be a link in the description to enjoy our suffering. So let's just go ahead, start this music up and let's just enjoy the suffering. Alright, we got the first game in, and this song is just... Oh god. <laughs> oh, you guys did not... I, I had to cut one minute of just idling, so you guys don't hear this, but we're gonna go for this. So this is two destroyers, we got two cruisers and three battleships. Oh, two battleships and a carrier. Alright, let's go for this. Oh my god, so I am at the right side, Charlie. All right, so we got okay. Good luck and fair seas. Let's just go ahead and just Good give them a hard fair time. Seas. All right, so I believe going Charlie might be a bad decision, so I'm just gonna let Shimakaze and the gearing go to Charlie, and I'll keep my distance for this. And I am doing a speed build preheating on this one, so I am going how fast? 35 knots. Oh boy. Alright, so getting that, that X turret moving right to Bravo. So we got a destroyer the right there. Shimakaze is going to make me protect it first of all. And alright, there we go. So let's go ahead focus on this Prince Reaper. Now, I know the Shima is going to go towards me, but there is a chance that he's not going to go to me. And I mean not going to me, I mean those torpedoes. So, hopefully those torpedoes won't be a bothersome. There we go. Hopefully. And let's go ahead and fire that, and just focus on the Shimakaze. So that Shimakaze is turning away. He's probably going to focus on our Seattle or the torpedoes are already lodged to Soyuz. Now, can I get fires on this? Oh, oh wait. No, I cannot. Uh, because the two torps are going to end up hitting Enemy the rocks. Alright, there's the Shimakaze torps right there. Is that just only one set? It feels like it's just only one set. Yeah, it's just one set. Alright. All right, will this fires? Okay, there's one fire from Prince Rupert. Perfect. Okay. Now, looks like he's not gonna use damage comp like this. And yeah, let's go. And again, another fire. Three fires. Hello. There we go. Okay, Prince Rupert just used damage comp. 
So, let's go ahead and let's just give him more fire, shall we? And then switch to AP for this. There we go. We got Perma Fire on Prince Rupert. Uh, Genon feels like... Okay, there we go. He launched the torpedoes on me. And the other two are going to be set to Soyos. Hopefully no floods. Perfect. That's, that's what I like to see. Alright. And the AP is just nothing much. Okay, I do not want to go close to the edge of the map, so I'm just going to let my two turrets go to this Prince Rupert. And try to angle myself into Charlie, where more adults are going on. Ooh, okay, Bazan has it. Yep, there we go. Bazan took it down. And, ooh, okay, perfect. Shima. Come on, long shot. Let's do this. Hopefully that should take care of Shima. If my shots are good. Oh, okay. Good shots, but it just overpens. Alright. So that did not go well. But the Shima's Shima cause is out of play for that point. Okay, so now we got well, unfortunately, X6 down. <laughs> because there's enemy teams flanking. So let's go ahead and try to take care of this Iowa ASAP. And hopefully our gearing will drop the torpedoes before he perish. Alright, there we go. Torpedoes down. And that's... Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect the penetration for that to work. Alright. Now, I want a GTF fall, so let's go ahead and start... Hit that engine accelerator. Got the gearing. There we go. Alright. Now, let's get the secondaries right into that gearing. I am gonna run away because the rooster will probably... Yep, there we go. There's the burn. Alright, now... Let's just get this gearing out of the way. Bye-bye. Okay, and yeah, this rooster is just annoying the crap out of me. I have... I mean, this is probably the only choice I got. Hitting this rooster. Now, after this, we'll get the AP loaded to that rooster. Okay, Genon. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I'm a battleship. I had to take this rooster out. And, okay, our Bazan will take care, which is perfect. Uh, Bazan will get distracted. Oh, no, not Toshima. Not Toshima. Okay. Uh, please. I know those torpedoes are gonna hit. Okay, no flood. Woo! Okay, that is good. Alright, um... Okay, I need to focus on where that rooster is going to turn. Is he going to go straight? Yeah, he's going to go straight. Alright. There we go. Good shots. Now that rooster is probably going to farm on me, which I don't mind about it. I will have to actually take care of this rooster. It's going broadside on me, which is perfect. That's what I like. He's going to get that good amount of damage right in his face. Destroyed the engine. Let's go. Alright. I'm still have repairs ready. Enemy team so let's go ahead and repair that baby up. Torpedo. Get those torpedoes. Okay, Genon, it's still there. Oh, I'm going to get Genon here. The oh boy. Yep. Oh, jeez. Alright. Yeah, I have. I'm probably going to go down like this. Just, just hit the radar because why not? Yep. All right, I'm out. How much damage? Uh, eighty-four thousand two hundred exact. Okay, speed build Rhode Island. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Oh wow, that rooster is farming. Look at that. Four kills already. Uh, what's how's our soldiers doing? Just soldier stinks. Okay, well. <laughs> I did not get 100k, so this song's just gonna keep on going. So while this game is gonna end, um, I feel like Rhode Island, in my opinion, feels like you do have to play aggressive to really make it work. Now, the rooster did took advantage of me of, well, setting fires on me. And I kind of made a mistake by not focusing on rooster when I was just, first just, Targeting at that ship. 
So definitely mistakes were made on that. And well, unfortunately we did not get 100k. <laughs> but I did get a battle star on that and okay that's Shimakaze had a game. Alright, so let's go ahead and rearrange the build to a more serious one. Alright, we're back with the serious build. We got the we replaced the propulsion modification to with concealment. Um, we did also change the camo from hot reel to historic because I love that max traverse speed increase, which 5.62, which I do like for a battleship. Uh, we keep the same elite ship bonus with the advanced gun director and also change the commander with Odendorf with the cross to T and APCS plus. And then I did change the build to make it more reasonable. <laughs> All right. Without further ado, let's continue. And also I had to use premium hills and the uh, damage control so I can actually survive a little bit longer. All right, we're in and unfortunately there is four bots. So, I mean, I did set up a challenge, but I did not say about the bots still. So let's try to see if I get a hundred K on this. Because I am starting to lose my sanity with this song. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. So there's definitely going to be a destroyer going on the left and the right. Um, Keev is just the only bot. We got Banham, which, okay, that's going to be a lot of torpedoes. All right, so looks like I have no choice but go left with the Genon. Hopefully the Genon is... Not AFK, which um, the sign's telling me it looks like it's gonna be AFK. Uh, we got Ira on the right, so possibly I might have to go right with the Iowa. All right, so we got so we that will take that first shot right into that and. Hello, bot drifting. <laughs> Gotta love that bot drifting. Oh, here it comes. Genon and Benham just launch at me. Alright. Let's just get this model out of the way. I wanna go stick with this Iowa as best as I could. There we go. Seven shots out of twelve. Uh Gen okay, well the bot Genon's getting close. But I do want to take care of this actual Genon player. Okay, that's torpedoes from Genon for sure. And it pretty much denied. Okay, that was a lot of overpens on that Genon. So it looks like maybe I'm hitting the superstructures that causes to overpen. Or it's just me hitting right at the stern. Oh, that is a nice amount of damage. And only 10 hits out of 12. I don't know what happened to the other two. Alright, so there's Benham on the right, which means torpedoes are already on the way. So I definitely need to go ahead and narrow myself in through this. Alright, can I... Ooh, okay, Citadel, which is what I like. Can I take care of this Kiev as fast as I could? Alright, that's enough. There we go. Alright, your model's onto me. Benham is on the left. Um, our Genon is going in the opposite direction. Torpedoes. I am basically in danger. <laughs> we hit the enemy. Alright. Uh okay, Benham is there. Okay, I had to move forward no matter what. I know there's a Genon right behind that rock, but either I'm gonna go down with this Banham or go down with the Genon. I had to push forward. And he's going to bot farm. Alright. I need to start pushing. Okay, there's Genon right there. Can I get that Genon from here? I need to start boosting at this point. Okay, Benham's distracted with the bot Minotaur. Good luck trying to take down bot Minotaur. Oh. Um, is that a bot? Yeah, okay, that's a bot Santa there. 
right there. Got some good shots on that Genon. Now, I would like to go turn left and take care of that Santa there, but Banham is there. And Banham being there, yeah. Genon is right there on the front of me. I am just gonna try a fake turn right and then just pretty much just go from there. Yep, okay, he was expecting me to turn left. Okay, he just used the, the torpedo reload skill, so that's good news. Now, Genon, get yourself deserved. Hey, can I aim a little bit higher, please? There we go. Alright, perfect. Now, Santander is... Oh, okay. I forgot G9 has the other side. Okay, no floods. Perfect. Good. I do not want to listen to this goddamn song. Okay, okay. G9 is... Uh, Santander is right next door. I'm just gonna take care of Santander. In order to get the damage to 100k. <laughs> Oh, don't drift on me. Oh my god. Okay, and then use the rear. Right on. Don't kill me. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay, your model's down, which is good. 89k. Come on. Alright, uh, Benham is too busy with our bot Minotaur. I, I better not die to this Santan there, otherwise this song is gonna haunt me in, for my entire life. Whew. Okay, destroy the turrets. Perfect. And I'm healing. Alright, good. <laughs> Whew. Come on, 100k, 100k, 99k, 100k! Yes! Okay, the song is dead after this. <laughs> oh, I thought I'm gonna be forever. Oh, 109k. All right, good. Put the IRL well right next to me. Okay. Enemy team is about to win. All right. Okay. The Van Ham took down the Minotaur. I don't care. He took forever to take down that Minotaur, especially it's a bot. All right. Let's just try finish this off. Uh, hopefully we might reach to this Van Ham. If not, this is gonna get edited right to the credits on this. <laughs> Ship locked. And the last shots. Ooh, okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I did not take the hit, but... Alright. 109k, Rhode Island. And I can stop with the song. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright. I am... I don't know why I'm getting exhausted from listening to that song. Okay, 109k, two ships destroyed. Alright, I mean, let's just go straight to this one. Okay, the Iowa actually cook. <laughs> I did the damage. Alright, so... Alright, I mean, this is a bot game, but I did not say a challenge about bots, but... Alright. Ah, oh, jeez. My head is just, oh my god. Alright. Uh, Alright. Well, I am, uh, first impressions, because I, I am just speechless and just, <laughs> okay, Vault Island is actually pretty fun. I know there's a lot of players say that it's just, I don't know. I just don't know because I have not watched any videos. But, Rhode Island, for my first impressions before I watch other videos like, uh, Pig Bay, Boblin, I think specifically Boblin, I think he released a video for Rhode Island, but I haven't watched it yet. And, Rhode Island for me, is actually, I like it. I mean, yes, you do have to play aggressive. You're not a ship that you're supposed to be, go out the back, and yes, I am kind of have bo four bots here, so the first one was a loss, the second one was pretty good. So maybe I will play more battles and see how I would say about the Rhode Island, but so far 
I kind of like it. And for American Battleship, we have these terrible American arts. For some reason, I kind of like it. I don't know. It's... I just... I have a feeling. This is just... This, this, is, this is probably a streamer luck thing right here. Once I play more on this, I know it's probably going to go needs fixing with uh, Sly whenever I deal with him. But yeah, um, yeah, I got nothing to say after that. But Oldendorf, Concealment Build, uh, Historic Camouflage definitely helped because if I without that uh, Max Reverse Speed, I'm definitely going to get more Torpedoes. And I'm, I'm surprised that I did not get Floods uh, besides the first one though. But the second one, I was lucky. I was pretty lucky. And that once that luck is out, I mean, it's probably going to be terrible. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, that is enough for me today. I hope you enjoyed this Rhode Island video. I know there's probably going to be some bit of um, comments down below saying that Rhode Island's probably terrible or something. But anyways, that's enough for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like and comment and subscribe. And also ring the notification bell for more World of Warships Blitz content. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you at Seas next time. Until then, Jane. She can look and look and look at that stunt time.